I kept raising the bar. Niggas were jealous. It was a lot of hate. So you know what I did to make them mad? I dropped the hottest song of 2018 in the battle rap community. Started to hear my ass track. They didn't open the floodgates now. It's too late for peace. Niggas wanted war cause they ain't long enough. Right here, you better act the streets about Give me that body, it. Body, 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 Never go to war with a man who ain't got up in the loop. If you cut it back, you can't afford the loop. You better act the streets about You better act the streets about What do you man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's close out this Battle Rap Fantasy League, man. Smack Volume 3. The event was fire. It was a success, man. Giving you my recap of the last Battle Bridge Raw thing versus Mr. Wavy. The reason why I'm so late with this was because the live stream was freezing up and things. So I missed some things. So I just said, just forget it. So I can make sure I do this accurate for the people that's... um. In the fantasy battle rap league and everybody that's playing around online, man. Um, the internet. So this was a lackluster battle. It was a lackluster battle, man. And it really showed to some degree why Mr. Wavy ain't ready like we thought he would be. Now, Mr. Wavy, I would say this, man. He looked good against New Jersey Twerk. He looked good against Chef Trez. He looked good against Jerry West. I had them winning all three of those battles. But it is level to this game, man. And in that small room, it just didn't go well with him. I believe he had the worst performance of the night. He did have the worst performance of the night. This was not a good battle for him at all. So many drop spots, so much filler, so many elementary bars, man. This was not a good look, man. You, he, he got killed. And what's crazy about him getting killed, this Briz Roth thing who went up against him, he was beatable. Briz Roth thing was beatable. He wasn't fire like that. He was average at best in this battle. But he still won. Mr. Wavy couldn't even get one round off. And it's like Briz Roth thing was taking the light on him. Because I've seen Briz way better than this. This battle right here was a disappointment, man. To Mr. Wavy, Briz Roth thing, I can't say I'm really too happy about what you did, but however you won, you won. Um, I didn't like this battle at all, man. Let's get right off into it. <coughs> Mr. Wavy go first. Mr. Wavy go first, and then this battle when Mr. Wavy go, he had a line where he said something like, I went it like Japanese, two for one, it's Applebee's. That was okay. He had a cheesy line that just was horrible that he thought he was going to get a lot of crowd reaction from. He said something like the Bobby Brown new edition. Bobby Brown, you smoke, always smoke the rock longer than anybody else. That was corny. Very cheesy and lame. That was weak. I only gave Mr. Wavy 17 points in that first round. So if you got your fantasy battle rap league brackets, Mr. Wavy, first round, 17 points. <coughs> Bridge Roth thing come in um, behind him. He started out a little slow, but once he got cooking, he did what Bridge do. He had a line where he said, uh, the knife blade breaking off venom. See it sticking out his wave like a dolphin fin. That was a nice line. <coughs> that was the back uh, uh, line of that round. I gave Briz Roth thing 20 points. 
20 points in that uh, first round to Mr. the way be 17. So with one zip going into the second bridge draw thing. This one thing began to go even more downhill for Mr. Wavy. So Mr. Wavy started his second round. It was just real sluggish, slow. It wasn't it wasn't hitting on all cylinders. Every now and then he might say something. It wasn't really that good. I only gave him 12 points in the second round. 12 points for Mr. Wavy in the second round. Bridge Roth thing, come on. Um, he was he was good. He was good. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't fire like that. It was just okay. Average at best, but good enough to beat Mr. Wavy. He had in the second round one of them molds and split the red C, C bar that we hear a lot. But he still won and he still won his battle. Two zip going into the third round. I just expected just a little bit more from Bridge, but Beggar can't be choosers. He won. He pulled it out. But if this was anybody else, Bridge Roth thing probably would have lost. But at the same time, maybe if Bridge Roth thing didn't really care too much about battling Mr. Wavy, he might would have wrote even better. Cause I could just tell this was like this was like light work. This probably was the worst battle of the night. Just keeping it real. And for the most part, it was a it was a fair battle. It wasn't trash, but it wasn't good neither. You know? So if two two zip bridge rock thing going to the third, Mr. Wavy again, another cheesy, sluggish, lame third round. I'm talking about <coughs> bridge doing stuff. That he looked like he'll do. You look like the type of dude that a killer roach. Look at the hand. You do that. You look like the type of brother that'll drop a sandwich, pick it up, and eat it. You look like you would do that. Just, it was just corny, man. Then all through the battle, he's saying things when the crowd may want to give him some credit every now and then because he know he wasn't that good. He tried to take surf move. It's crazy because Briz Roth thing was accusing him of copying off surf. So when the crowd trying to give him a little praise for every time he say something half decent, he doing what Surf would be doing. Like, nah, nah, I don't need none of that. I don't need none of that. I don't need none of that. Remember when Surf was doing that in a rock battle when Surf wasn't really that good? And then when he did say something half decent, the crowd would give him some participation, crowd reaction stuff. And then he will say, nah, I don't need none of that. I don't need none of that. As though he actually cooking, but he really not. And they trying to just be generous and give him some type of reaction to show that, you know what I'm saying, they they paying attention. That's what dude did in this battle, through the battle. Now, I don't need none of that. Say that. I don't need none of them claps. I don't need none of that. Right. They should have clapped at you. <laughs> Clapping for you. <laughs> they should have clapped at you. Close the venue down after you get through rapping, man. <laughs> You're like, What? I drove all these hours, caught this flight, been in these hotel room. You sitting on here like you about to do good. And you sitting here rapping like a preschooler. <laughs> grab it. Grab a strap, man. It's a rap. <laughs> oh, you gonna you gonna give me some rounds, brother. Or I'm about to let off some rounds. Man, get up out of here, man. He was trash, man. Crazy to the point. You dropped the ball, man. You, you Small room ain't for you, man. No more small room battles for you. You have to do the stage. You need crowd. You need crowd. Some people need crowd participation to uh, help masquerade and cover what they doing. Because in that small room, when it's just you and everything you're saying and you being locked on, your bars wasn't supposed to be so premature. So many, man, dry spots and rounds in it. This was not a good look for you, man. Third round, I gave um, I gave him 12 points again. Mr. Wave, you only scored 12 points in the third round again. Sad. Briggs Roth thing, I think the, the, the third round was one of his weakest rounds of the night. Um, I only gave him 15 points. Only gave him 15 points. 15 points to Briz Roth thing. Uh, so I got Briz winning this battle three zip. 
This was a mediocre battle, probably the worst battle of the night. It was half decent. It wasn't like us. It wasn't. It wasn't good. Mr. Wavy, man, man, Wavy. So many people have so many high expectations for you, bro. Tay Rock sitting in there. I'm gonna address Tay Rock, man. Acting like a cheerleader through the whole damn night. I'm talking about that's all you hear. You hear his mouth through the whole night. I'm gonna talk about that. But this your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment. That's some question. It's yours. I got Briz Roth thing beating Mr. Wavy three zip in a mediocre battle. Briz Roth thing. Um, I don't know. I guess Mr. Wavy then inspired him to push his pen enough, but this was not really a good battle, man. Um. It has some cool points here and there, but overall, me no like, no, I ain't like this battle at all. So, for the people that play in Fantasy Battle Rap League, all the points are in. Let me give you this score again on the Bridge Roth thing and Mr. Wavy. Mr. Wavy, first round, 17 points. Mr. Wavy, second round, 12 points. Mr. Wavy, third round, 12 points. Bridge Roth thing for his first round, 20 points. For his second round, 21 points. For his third round, 15 points. So there you have it. Those are the score. Thanks for everybody's support and playing Fantasy Battle Rap League to the next event. Don't miss the draft. And this your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment. That's the question. It's yours. Subscribe to Battle Truth. I kept raising the bar. Niggas was jealous. It was a lot of hate. So you know what I did to make him mad? I dropped the hottest song of 2018 in this battle rap community. Stop that here my ass track. They thought I'm going to act track. Pop those. They didn't open the floodgates now. It's too late for peace. Niggas wanted war cause they ain't lost enough. Right here, man. You better act the streets about it. Never go to war with a man who ain't got nothing to lose. If you cut it down.